today we're going to make a butter pie and um, which were popular during the war because there's no meat or anything have they to go in it was just potatoes and onions um, right this is what you need we're going to do our version of it um two pound of potatoes um which we're going to boil in the skins basically that's what you're going to do and um, we're using maris pipers but you can use any potato that you think tastes good um, we're using 360 gram of brown onions we're going to weigh these out in the skins and then we're going to peel them and prepare them so the weights as they are are actually in the skins um, you want some sal ordinary salted butter good tasting whatever your best butter is whatever you like low pack whatever use that um, also some ground white pepper and we, we're going to use some ready made um, short crust pastry we're not going to make our own today um, we've got plain flour for dusting because we're going to roll it out and um, usually to serve we'll have like pickles I mean these are silver skin but you can have the big chunky ones if you want um, we've got red cabbage which you don't like do you don't no do no you don't do cabbage no. uh, we've got beetroots and uh, we don't like it like vinegar do we we, we, we like beetroot to be beetroot is good. Um, yeah. and also we did some onions in vinegar you know when you just put them and soak them in the malt vinegar overnight and these are these sorts of onions sliced um, with salt and pepper and you can leave them overnight and have them and they're really really good very tight it's like the traditional pickling without the joy <laughs> okay um, so what we're going to do is we're going to prepare these and then we'll get back to you okay. and because it's 5th of December now 2017 and <laughs> um, we've got a little Christmas tree out it's getting all festive okay and that's going to appear on the shorts until Christmas and it is on our Christmas header but if you're looking at it on a laptop it won't be but if you're looking on a mobile phone it will be okay so we're just going to prepare these and then we'll get back to you so like we said we've got it measured at two pound with the skins on and everything um, and we're going to get a 360 gram with the skins on and everything as well okay and then we'll get back to you right we've cut, peeled your onions and cut them up quite fine i'm just thinking whether you should be wearing builders goggles to cut onions so that your eyes don't stream because I'm telling you these got me they got you as well didn't they, they did, and yeah. they're really strong because yeah. he yeah, volunteered to use his glasses but I won't be able to see them then to do them <laughs> <laughs> right so what we're going to do we've cut them up we're going to put the potatoes now just straight in the pan um, if anybody else knows of any way of cutting onions up without cracking <laughs> especially when they're really strong <laughs> do let us know I'm just going to put a bit more water in this um, and then we're going to boil these up in the skins and then when they go softer and you can put your fork in it that's when we're going to take them off you want them done in your skins because you don't want to don't want a lot of water in your spuds in your potatoes <laughs> so we're just going to boil these up for about maybe 10-15 minutes so we'll get back to you when we give you the exact time okay while you're boiling your potatoes we've just put the lid on for a minute we're not going to let it boil over you've got to watch that um, we're going to fry for onions, so we're going to do it in about 25 to 30 gram of butter. Um, so we'll just put that in because we have a rough idea what that is. And you're going to fry your onions until they're just going slightly golden. You don't want to burn them, you've got to be very careful. Um, but they need to be quite soft as well. So when you take one out, have a taste of it, see it's soft and then it's ready. Um, so we're going to do that now while the potatoes are cooking. And then we'll get back to you when they look like they should. Okay. I'm going to cook down just a little bit, put plenty of ground white pepper in as well. Um, and then the pepper brings out the flavour. Okay. Right, we've done our onions. We've put a little bit more butter in again, so we've probably gone up to about 40 grams. Um, so they're all buttery and they're soft as well. But they're not brown, they're not burnt, can you see? They're just like a golden colour. So get them like that and turn them off. And with your potatoes as well, just make sure they're still bubbling, nothing's happened yet. Um, when they start going soft and the skin starts splitting a little bit, and you can get your fork in, that's when you want them. So we'll just leave them going a minute longer, about 10 minutes longer, okay? Right, we've had them on about 25 minutes or so. It's helpful if you have all your potatoes roughly the same size. Um, and your skins are just coming away now, um, and they're quite soft to get your fork in. Not falling apart, but soft enough to get a fork in. And um, what you're going to do is get a slotted spoon, or a spoon that's something that you can drain through, and put them out on a plate. So get each one out, um, and then we're going to let them cool for a couple of minutes, and then we're going to take the skins off. So we'll do that, and we'll get back to you. Okay? Right, when you're peeling the skins off, just do it with, when they're slightly warm, you, you don't want some red hot, but when they're still warm, 
just peel the skins off. It's easy to do it with a knife. Most of the time it'll just come away, but it's just worth getting a knife around it. And then when you've done that, we're going to slice them up into about a centimetre apart slices. Um, so what we're going to do now, because we've done that, is we're going to put some butter and grease your bowl, your pie dish. You're going to grease all that. So make sure you do that. And then we're going to put a pastry layer at the bottom over to the sides and then we're going to put a top on after. So we'll put a pastry layer down and then we'll cut up his potatoes, put them in and it's going to be potato, onion, potato, onion, finish with your butter on your top, some pepper and put your lid on. So we're going to do that now. Okay. We've done your pastry and we cut it into two thirds and a third. The two thirds is at the bottom and then the third will make a top. Um, what we're going to do as well, we've sliced these into centimetre slices. If they're not overcooked, they won't fall apart completely. But this goes on a bottom layer. So you're going to layer one layer of this. And then, if you're wondering the size of the dish, this dish is 7 inch across and 10 inch that way. We're not sure what it is in centimetres that way because we're old school. <laughs> um, but I'm sure if you get a measure out, you'll find out. Right, so I'm going to do a layer of these on the bottom. Um, and then I'll come back to you to put the onion on, okay? Now we've done a layer of potatoes, um, then we're going to split the onions in half and do half the onions layer. And we're going to put some more black pepper on top of the onion layer and spread that all out, okay? So I'll do that and then I'll get back to you, I'll not be a sec. So we've got potato, onion, a bit of black pepper again, potato, onion. Um, what we're going to do now is finish off with your butter. So we've got about 50 gram of butter here and we're going to spread it out in little sort of teaspoons worth. So a teaspoon at top, a teaspoon at bottom and sort of even them out. So you might end up with eight teaspoons of butter. When we've done that, I'll get back to you and show you again. Okay. I used all in about three and a half ounces of butter. Um, I wouldn't go more than four. Now then, we're going to put a top on. Um, oh, actually, we just needed just a little bit more black pepper, just a quick medium. Don't go mad. Just another smidgen. Right. Now we'll put a lid on. I'm just going to trim it around the sides. You can let that go in now to the pie and it will meet the other crust. So just push it in gently. And then cut it off. And there'll be people that's never had butter pie, won't they? Mm, I don't think I have. No, I think during the war they'd have probably had it any time they could. I remember one time my mum said that her mum said there were no food in the house at one time and somebody caught a rabbit and gave it them. Oh, now, isn't that good for mm, them? Yeah, because they have kids and that, and the food are really tight. Right, what we're going to do is just put the slices in to let your ear in, everything else. And then we're going to coat it over with milk, just brush it over with milk, and pop it in the oven. So I'll just get the milk out, and then I'll come back to you. Okay. Right, we've brushed it with milk over the top and stuck our edges together. Um, we're going to pop this in the oven now. It's going to be on 180, and it's usually about half an hour because um, it browns quite evenly when you do it with milk over the top. Um, so we'll get this warmed up and then we'll put it in, okay? Right, um, our oven's ready now, so we're going to bob in our pie. Um, 180 middle shelf for about 30 minutes. So we've had it in half an hour. Um, we're trying about that time it's cooked, isn't it? It's browning over nicely, which it has done, so it's a golden brown like that. Looking good. That's done, yes. And my mum likes it with onion gravy, as she keeps telling us, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Um, but you like it with anything apart from the cabbage. Apart from <laughs> yeah. the cabbage, yeah. Peach, okay. it's good. Peach, it's good. And that's about it. Okay.